What's up, Josh here. Hope you're having a fantastic day and holiday season. In front of me, I've got a bunch of my favorite iPhone accessories that I've sort of collected over the years, ranging from cases to MagSafe accessories to power banks to chargers and even filmmaking and photography tools. Hopefully you'll find this video helpful and find something for yourself as well. But yeah, let's get started first with the case. Now, as far as cases go, this is my favorite case currently. This is the Stash Stand Case by ESR. And I'm actually really glad that ESR is sponsoring this video because I absolutely love this case. Of course, it's got all the things that make for a good case, like clicky buttons, built-in MagSafe, a raised lip to protect your screen. But the main standout feature that makes this case my absolute favorite is the built-in kickstand. If you're somebody who likes to prop their phone up during lunch or dinner and just watch some YouTube videos and relax, this is the case to get. And look, I know I'm not the only one that uses a bowl as a stand for my phone, but I think we can all agree that this is a much better solution. It stashes away into the camera assembly and it also doubles as a camera guard, protecting your lenses from scratches. Now, there are also some other cases that I've used that I can also recommend. This first one is the Nomad Sport Case in white. It's an all around really minimal looking case that's sleek and modern. It's also got built in MagSafe, a soft microfiber lining on the inside. Next up is the Nomad Rugged Case in orange, a bit more bulky, more protection and rubber on the corners of the case. This is a good option if you're somebody who wants the most protection, but also wants their case to pop a little, especially in this orange color. Last but not least, I've got the Quad Lock Case. This is how I mount my phone to my motorcycle. But even if you're not riding a motorcycle, the Quad Lock Case is a fantastic option. There's a bunch of accessories that you can get with this quad lock system. This is the MagSafe wallet. When I'm out riding my motorcycle, I like to carry around this very minimal wallet because I don't like to carry my bulky wallet with me. This is perfect just to carry my license and a credit card. And as you can see, it's got a very similar uh, mechanism here that just snaps onto the back of the case and uh, yeah, it's not going anywhere, and the only way you can take it off is by peeling it off. But yeah, these are the cases that I use, and of course, they all look really good with this brand new wallpaper that I'm releasing called Spectrum. Super clean, super minimal, and there's a really cool story of how I made it on the product description, so go ahead and check that out if you're interested. Next up, we've got charging stands. And one question I asked a ton on this channel is about this stand. And this is called the Nomad Stand One. It's a MagSafe charger that is pretty standard, honestly. Of course, it also looks great with standby mode in iOS 17. But I think what people like about it is just how clean and minimal it looks. I've also got the base one here. This is just a flat style charger as opposed to a stand. Both of these have got a really premium and high quality feel to them. The one caveat though is that they don't include a power adapter. So you'll need to purchase that that separately. Now, if you're looking for a more complete system, this is the ESR three in one charger. Again, it is of course a MagSafe charger that'll charge your phone, but it's also got another wireless charger at the bottom for something like your AirPods, as well as the detachable Apple Watch charger in the back. I've got this charger plugged in at my entryway table because it makes for a great home for my AirPods, just always having it charged and ready to go so I can grab it as I leave the door. And the MagSafe charger comes in handy if I ever have a friend over that just needs to charge their phone quickly. Unlike the Nomad stands, this one actually comes with its own power adapter. And yeah, this is just a really great overall option, nice and modern, not too expensive, and comes with everything that you need to charge all of your devices. All right, next up, let's talk about photography and filmmaking. And I only have two things in this category, uh, but they are really cool. And the first one is this Moment MagSafe tripod mount. I've used this thing for so many things from astrophotography to time lapses to filming ProRes clips on my tripod. This thing is super sick and was even used by MKBHD. And the way that it works is pretty simple. So on the top, you've got MagSafe. On the bottom, you've got a quarter 20. Then when you've got it screwed in, you've got a tripod for your phone. Pretty sick. You can also rotate it in landscape mode if you're doing some filmmaking. And yeah, it's overall just a really solid tool that is a no brainer for any photographer or filmmaker. All right, next up, we've got the MagDisc Pro. This is from a company in Hong Kong called Think Think Studio. They've currently got this product on Kickstarter, so you can back it on there if you want. But yeah, what it is is essentially an SSD with this flexible 3D printed bracket that goes onto the back of your phone via MagSafe and plugs into USB-C. Now, if we switch over to video and we toggle on ProRes Log, you'll see that there's USB-C at the bottom and max time of 146 minutes at the top. And now as soon as I hit record, all of the footage will be going directly into this SSD, which I can then import onto my computer just by plugging it in, which makes for a really great and seamless workflow. Another neat feature of the MagDisc Pro is that not only 
does it have a quarter 20 inch mount on the bottom so you can screw it directly into your tripod, but it also has MagSafe. So you can MagSafe it onto the Moment MagSafe tripod mount for like a really quick tripod assembly and disassembly. Uh, so yeah, that is a really neat feature. All right, the final bucket of accessories is gonna be charging and power. And for each of these buckets, I have two picks, a small pick and a big pick. So. For chargers, my small pick is gonna be the Anchor Nano Pro. This is a 20 watt charger that is ultra portable and super cheap and is way faster than the five watt chargers if you're still using one of those. You can also get the 30 watt one, which isn't that much more expensive. And with that one, you even get foldable prongs, which makes it even more portable. Then for my big pick, I have the Nomad 130 watt charger. This thing is a beast, especially if you're working remotely or traveling. Having three USB-C ports makes it perfect for charging your MacBook, iPhone, and one other accessory of your choice. Okay, the last category is gonna be power banks, and my small pick for this is gonna be the Anchor Mag Go. This is a no-brainer for me. I always have something like this with me on a longer day, simply because the iPhone 15 Pro's battery isn't the best. So being able to take a battery like this that doesn't require any sort of cable is perfect. It's also got a built-in kickstand, which I don't know, it's a little bit flimsy. And honestly, if you're gonna get one of these, I'd recommend the one without the kickstand. I think the one without the kickstand looks a little bit cleaner. But just a note with this battery, it's not gonna charge your iPhone up completely. This is more of a top off. So if you are looking for something to completely charge your phone, maybe you're going on a weekend trip or a camping trip, definitely pick up one of these. This is the Anchor 777. I've taken this with me on camping trips to the coffee shop. If I need to charge my MacBook, I can do that with this battery as well. It's got a really sick display that shows how much wattage your devices are pulling, as well as how fast the battery will drain when you've got these devices plugged in. This battery can charge your iPhone a couple of times over and can almost completely charge a MacBook Pro. And also a bonus accessory is these Kevlar cables from Nomad. I especially like this one foot cable, which makes it perfect to pair with a battery bank so you don't have a bunch of cable lying around. Like being able to do something like this is really nice in my opinion. And actually the funny thing is when and I'm using the MagGo. If I need a little more juice, I'll actually just carry this cable with me and plug in my phone. And then once it's plugged in, I can conveniently MagSafe it on the back of my phone. So it's still charging via the wire, not wirelessly. So I get a little more efficiency, but also the convenience of MagSafe. But yeah, these Kevlar cables are really durable and super practical. And I definitely recommend picking one of these up as well. But yeah, that's been it. These are some of my favorite accessories for my iPhone. If you're interested in any of them, I'll have links down below, as well as a link to my wallpaper if you're interested in that. But yeah, consider subscribing to the channel if you're new around here and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.